David. Whilst trying to take a picture on a ramble, a big horse bent my selfie stick. <laughs> And is it just you on your own? Uh, no. Please tell me it wasn't just you on your own. No, no. <laughs> in a field with a horse taking a picture <laughs> on a selfie stick. Come on, make an effort. Look as if you're enjoying it. No. <laughs> there were three other people there. Was it for all four of you to be in the photograph with the horse? No, no, we weren't uh, trying to get the horse in the picture. Oh, the horse wasn't part of the picture. No, no, we'd ask the horse to take the picture. <laughs> How did the horse get involved in the story this, then? This might yeah. be a help. Look, look what I've got. This is one of these selfie sticks that are so popular. If I were yeah. to go and hand this to you, David, yes. yeah. why yeah. don't you come out and imagine okay. you're in the countryside yes, yeah. and you could... Right. Um, and Rob, yeah. with that face, you can play the horse. Yeah. <laughs> it's not just the face that resembles... <laughs> Touch it now. <laughs> All right, here we go. So I'm a horse. Here I am. There we are, taking the. <laughs> Ready to take the. We're all in nicely in position here yeah. for the photo with the hill. Skittish horse. Skittish horse. I'm trying to take the thing. <laughs> I, I didn't. Can I just check, Rob? Are you a meerkat trying to sell courage? <laughs> I've, I've reared up onto my hind legs. <laughs> it didn't rear up. It just sort of danced about a bit. You worry about playing a repressed middle-aged Englishman, <laughs> and I will worry about playing a horse. OK. So we're ready, we're taking the picture. I can't get the button to work. Fiddle, fiddle, fiddle. Fiddle, fiddle. No. I accidentally <laughs> drop it no. like that. Skittish horse. No. <laughs> Oh, I can't hold it. I got hooves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then it was it broken. Was a bit more bent than that. Oh. There we go. And then, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> and then I did. I get in the picture as well. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. What do we think? I mean, it really reminded me why I don't go to the theatre. <laughs> It is, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> it's a lot of other people why they don't watch much television. <laughs> <laughs> so, is it the truth or is it a lie? Yeah, yeah, I think it's a lie. It's a lie. Because well, of the selfie stick. Yeah. yeah. You, you think don't. it's a lie? Yeah, OK, it's a lie. David. Yeah. Truth or lie? Well, it is a lie. Yeah. <laughs> en route to a meeting at the BBC, I gave CPR to an OAP. See. Pardon? How old? I'm 48. <laughs> Why did she need mouth to mouth? Well, it turns out she didn't, and uh... <laughs> but, you know, how do I know how you fix a sprained ankle? <laughs> <laughs> and how did you encounter the OAP? The OAP was just outside the tube station where the BBC uh, was, and soon will be again, I believe. Which line? What? Which line did you get on? I got the train to Waterloo and then I got the tube. Which colour? Well, she started off sort of pink, <laughs> then she went red. <laughs> then she went a bit yellow and then I just got her back again. So... What colour tube? Funny enough, I did, when I got back that day and my wife said, what's happened today? I think, wow, what, what a journey. <laughs> <laughs> when did this happen? I believe that you've been on the London Underground. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> well, should we leave it at that? <laughs> um, not quite. Describe the scene. I saw uh, people in a circle looking down on the floor. Right. Someone said, is, is anyone a doctor? And I said, yeah, yeah there's loads of people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She goes, I don't suppose you can do CPR, can you? And I went, uh, I went can I do CPR? And I, as it happens, I can do CPR. So what does CPR involve? Yeah. Put my hand there, put my hand there, and I started doing this. Yeah. This. What's your rhythm? I did this. That's too slow. Uh, yeah, that's right. it's, it's meant to be oh, you staying alive. Oh, sorry, I thought you wanted it in slow motion. It's the music of staying alive. <laughs> you wanted it in the 
big beat that in. Ha, ha, ha. Ah, yeah, but my record player's broke. Ah, 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 ah. Stay You speed that record player up, love. I'll tell you what tragedy is the worst. Tragedy. So what happened? Oh, you got a new record player. <laughs> <laughs> How many of these did you do? I think I did. Uh, 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 Stay alive. <laughs> that was a problem. I paused for the high pitch mode as you went blue again. Stay alive. Stay alive. This didn't help. <laughs> We got through the first first verse. <laughs> okay, see. So you did the first verse of staying alive, uh, then what then, happened? And then she literally got up at the right moment of the verse. She went, staying alive! <laughs> <laughs> and then the ambulance came and took her off, and um, and she uh, she went straight over a bridge and died. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, so, um, the story, what, what, what are you thinking? Stacey, does that have the ring of truth awful, for you? Awful end to the story, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Very suspicious. He doesn't even know what tube he got on. You really, really, that's, that's the most doubtful part of the story. <laughs> what do you, do you think, think, Susie? Yes. No, I think his rhythm was all wrong. Whoa. You've been told that before. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I don't believe it. Don't believe it. No. Then I think we think it's a lie. You think he was making all of I that do. up? I do. I'm afraid. <laughs> Lee, truth or lie? It is in fact a lie. Yeah. I miss. I love it. Ed, what is Billy to you? Uh, this is Billy, my uh, karaoke partner. Uh, when I let rip as Lionel Richie, he was my Diana Ross. <laughs> Joe, how do you know Billy? Uh, this is my neighbour, Billy. Um, I once stole his wheelie bin, uh, <laughs> then texted him instead of my husband um, to tell him what I'd done. Finally, <laughs> <laughs> Lee. What is your relationship with Billy? This is Billy. He drives a barge. And once, whilst I was enjoying a view from a bridge, I accidentally dropped my ice cream on his head. <laughs> David's team, where do you want to begin? We'll start with Ed. What was the karaoke occasion? It was um, a event at the Labour Party conference in uh, Manchester. And, and, and you were singing what song? Endless Love. Endless Love. <laughs> OK, can you do it now? Uh <laughs> Do you know the bit in the middle? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 It's not the version of Endless Love I know. <laughs> well, have you not heard the Morse code version before? <laughs> when you were doing this, how many people were there? About, um, 250. And you sang in front of 250 people? Yeah. All right, so who, who would you like to uh, quiz next? Joe, he, he is your neighbour. Yeah. I've been to your house. Yeah. I never saw him. <laughs> <laughs> he was out with his mates, Stan and Fred. Yeah. They were doing the Supremes that night. <laughs> Why did you target Billy's bin? Because, actually, in the past, Billy had taken our bin. Oh! oh. David's going to ask, why did I steal Billy's manky bin? Yes! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just for, a, for the hell of it, for a joke. I just took it, right, and I hid it. Explain the text message thing. I didn't quite grasp that. Uh, well, I meant to send a text to my husband saying, guess what, I've just stolen Billy's bin, so knickers to him. <laughs> Sorry, Billy. And, um, I, unfortunately, I sent it to him. Tell me what happened with you and the uh, ice cream. I was on a bridge. I was admiring the view. Where, where what, uh, bridge? What well, is, is a bridge? This? It spans water. Yes, what, where, which where bridge? Is the bridge? The bridge was just over the water. Which water? <laughs> the water under the bridge. Name the waterway. I was on Richmond Bridge, mm -hmm. which was in... Oh, no, where is it? Uh, <laughs> well, anyway, I was on Richmond Bridge, and the water in question was, in fact, the River Severn. But it... <laughs> I'm not an idiot. You won't, you won't be able to get me, mate. <laughs> and what sort of ice cream? Yeah. I'd like that one, but it's something in my hand. Uh, this is. <laughs> <laughs> what what flavour of ice cream? Your standard vanilla. Okay. Standard vanilla. Standard vanilla. Yeah. Okay. That was a lovely Adam Ant song, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you talked to the reaction. You've done it. Oh, 
I'm looking <laughs> over the edge of the bridge like that, and I'm looking at the water, I'm looking at the view, and I'm looking round, it's all very lovely. And I looked over <laughs> like that, and I thought, oh, that's a nice barge, I thought. So you, thought, you really craned over to get a good view of the barge. I did. I taking liked... your ice cream with you across I the like... thick stone balustrade. <laughs> bit of the I, I right need... over. Come with me, ice cream. Maybe, maybe you'd like to see as well. <laughs> just, just vanilla. Let's have a look. I didn't go the full. Um... Not 90 degrees. <laughs> I sort of did a 45. I sort of leaned over that. But as any man will tell you, or woman, you only have to lean what. That much and your ice cream can go. <laughs> David's team. Is Billy Ed's karaoke companion, Joe's dustbin donor, or Lee's sticky skip? Joe. Joe. I, th Joe. I think we are All right. going with Joe. Okay. Billy, would you please reveal your true identity? I am Billy and I was the Diana Ross to oh. my Lionel Richie. <laughs> it gets better. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's Lee. Oh. It says possession. Right. Under the desk is a box. If you uh, bring the box onto the desk. Now, read the card first and then show us the possession. I recently took a crash course in taxidermy, <laughs> by the end of which I've managed to make this. <laughs> show us what this is. <laughs> Pop it onto the desk. <laughs> Team. Where would you like to begin? What is it? I can't can see we have it. A, can we have a proper oh, look? That, Sheila, is what I call <laughs> mouse on a skateboard. <laughs> you like me to mouse, take it across? It? Please do. What's it made of? <laughs> made of mouse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, With a little bit of skateboard. Oh, no! <laughs> How was he killed? He looks like he was... <laughs> I should point out that he wasn't killed. He was found dead naturally. It's no like one. he was found walking down a very small <laughs> alley. <laughs> Careful, took okay, ages. Oh. Okay, first of all, how long was this course? Uh, this is the first course. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, the course, uh, the course is uh, well, it, it takes place over about sixteen uh, weeks, so four four months. And how often did you go? It happens every week. Once a week. To become a professional tattoo. Well, that, that goes on for 25 years. years and you meet once every six months? That takes, that takes four years or until the animal dies. Can you...? <laughs> <laughs> How did you do that mouse? Uh, basically, we've, uh, I found a, a mouse. Where? The, the, uh, there, on the stir. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> the mouse uh, actually uh, in the cage which it was kept in because it was my child's pet and it was a skateboarder no he wasn't skateboarder. <laughs> my son was a skateboarder and that's why he wanted the mouse on the skateboard what did you do with the mouse that you found well uh, for the first thing I did was uh, I had to break the news to my son and I said uh, your mouse is dead <laughs> So that was that covered. Uh, yeah. The mouse dies. Correct. Have a conversation with your son. What are we going to do? Let's stuff him. I know. I'll learn. I won't get a professional Correct. animal stuffer. And that's because... I'll learn to do it. You ring up the course. It's like there happens to be a 16-week course no. <laughs> starting next week. Tell us what you do. Um, first, the first thing you've got to do is always check that the mouse is actually dead. <laughs> so, sorry, it's always a... It's always, always a mouse. <laughs> this course is just for mouse stuffers. <laughs> no, no one, no one had anything else they were to do. So everyone, they all get your mouse out. <laughs> so it's, it's the, you've got to remember that it's an introductory course. It what did you scoop the inside Thank out? Thank you. Someone finally interested in the art form. <laughs> First thing you've got to do is get rid of the inside of the mouse. How? How do you do that? How? Good question, sure. You get a, a, a sharp blade and you make a, a, an incision from the back of the skull all the way down to the tail. So what happens when you make that, when you make that incision down the, down the spine? Down the spine, yeah. What happens? So that, now I'm looking, can it be described as a very, very horrific pop-up book? <laughs> because... <laughs> 
<laughs> I opened it all up. <laughs> and it's not a pretty sight. I would describe it... <laughs> I would describe it as sort of mouse spine-like. <laughs> and, and, like and, and the fella said, first rule of stuff, get stuffed, taxidermy, crash course, <laughs> he said, is never, ever open them from the back. <laughs> You're going to learn, haven't you? You've got to learn. You've got to learn. So what did you do? Well, it means you got me needle and thread. So you stitched the I mouse back up. I just stitched the mouse back up. Right. Get him back to how he was. Right. <laughs> Turn him over. Yeah. Slice down the middle. And then what did you do? You have to... Effectively, there's no, there's no easy way of saying it, I had to scrape out his insides. What do you put back in to give him that healthy... You build individual fragments of bone shapes, but out of metal, and glue them all together. It takes, ooh, 15 weeks on a Thursday night. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, David? It, 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 it sounds very plausible to me, but what is your team? <laughs> Sheila, what do you think? No, I think it's you a lie. You think it's a lie? I can't, I can't see why anyone wouldn't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> They're saying it's a lie. Lee? Yeah. Is it the truth or is it a lie? Oh, I actually have to go through the thing and press the button. <laughs> <laughs> lie. <laughs> uh, at school, I used to regularly pay my friend to clean my rubbers. You used to pay your friends to clean your uh, rubbers. It was just one friend. How dirty can a rubber get? Nobody cleans clean. a oh, rubber. Oh, they get dirty, my friend. Do they? <laughs> oh, yes. What, what, full of what? Just lead, mainly? Full hey. of, yeah, lead. Don't you rub a dirty rubber against a clean piece of paper and it sort of cleans itself? No, what the you're dirt. describing is the action of cleaning a rubber. Rubber. Yeah. yeah. Wait, that is how you clean no, a rubber. See, but you That's not the to same do as that. it no, cleans well... itself. That's like saying, <laughs> why do you need to clean a car? You just wipe it all over and it cleans itself. <laughs> <laughs> Ten years. Ten years. What, what is your... Ten years of this kind of bullying. <laughs> <laughs> what was your friend's name? Um, Edis. What? Edis. What? Edis. It's a Turkish name. How old were you? Uh, like, as primary school, so probably, like, ten. So Where... ten years old. And why couldn't you have just done that action of just rubbing it against a blank piece of paper to just... Well, he did it as, like, a service to everyone. How he... much did you pay him? Uh, like a pound of rubber. A pound of rubber? A pound of rubber? <laughs> pound? Yeah. Why couldn't you have done it yourself? I'm confused. Because it used to have, like, a nice smell when, when you had it back. Oh, what, what, it whoa, 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 where was this magical smell coming from? Well, that's the thing. We didn't know until we got Did older. you never... See, if I was giving a man a rubber, <laughs> and he went away, and he came back, and went, that smells differently, <laughs> I would say, why does it smell differently? I would just leave it at that and go, that's different, yeah, here's a pound. He just said he found out years later. He was using, like, car air freshener to spray it. Oh, it was lovely. a great service, so... You, if you, yeah. If, like, you were cool if you had a fresh rubber. <laughs> <laughs> but how much would a new rubber have cost? Mm. <laughs> Probably about 10p. <laughs> how many times did you pay him a pound to clean your rubber? Like, probably happened, like, once every two months or something like what? that. What? So, and this went on for how long? For He's, ages, think, like, for I'll years. I'll treat myself. And he yeah. was doing it. <laughs> yeah. He was I making quite... I get it nice. I get, it, get the rubber nicely cleaned and scented. <laughs> yeah. For the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Did Eddie's clean any other stationary items? Um, not that I can remember, but he used to do something else with stationery, but I can't remember what that was. Did, do... He didn't sharpen your pencils in a very interesting <laughs> way, did he? <laughs> it was something like he would, would organise your pencil case, but I can't remember. Organise your pencil! <laughs> 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 I'm picturing Ennis with a little suit and a briefcase. <laughs> Hello, guys, how you doing? It's me again, it's Eddie's. I'm here to uh, clean your rubbers or organise your own uh, And you're going like, join the corner and going, oh, hang on, girls, I was chatting you up, but I want to sort out my pencil case. Just like, but tell that's, me some that's, more well, that's exactly where the economy's going, isn't it? Yeah. Nobody makes things anymore. We just provide pointless services. <laughs> I'm a party planner. I'm a pencil case organiser. I shout on panel shows. We used to make steel. <laughs> Oh. Look, the, the thing is, <laughs> during my one, which was true, I started thinking it was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, don't, I, I haven't got a clue anymore. I, I, I actually kind of think it sounds true, but then, for that reason, I want to say it's a lie. <laughs> You've been a big help. Thank you. <laughs> OK, 
Gabby? M my, my gut's saying true. What's your gut saying? Go on, let's go true. You're going to say true? Melvin. It is. Was it true or was it a lie? It is true. <laughs>